As Canadian firefighters relentlessly battle nearly 900 wildfires across the country, authorities requested international assistance to battle the blazes. Among those answering the call from Bloemfontein in South Africa was 38-year-old firefighter Jane Kanye. I was very excited because now I had to go abroad to share my knowledge and to also gain the experience from abroad. abroad. So uh, I, will, I was very much excited when I heard that there was an opening to go to Canada. After undergoing a physical and additional training, the 13-year fire service veteran boarded the plane on June 14th with a team of 200 fellow firefighters for the almost 19-hour plane ride to Alberta. There, her Canadian counterparts train them on local firefighting methods, which vary from those in South Africa, where fires are more likely to be in grass rather than forests, Kanye explained. As crew leader, she headed a team of 20 firefighters who worked 14-hour shifts, primarily digging holes and pouring water to contain the forest fires before returning to South Africa on June 20th. I would say it was a great experience because they, even the Canadians welcomed us with uh, their open heart. Seeing people appreciating you, it gives even you, it gives you even more courage to say, "Ah, uh -uh, this is what I am, and I want to be a firefighter. I will continue to assist people, saving lives and restoring their dignities." Thus far this wildfire season, South Africa has sent three teams of firefighters to Canada, a quarter of whom are women. With about 24 million acres already burned across the country, Canada is on track for its worst wildfire season on record. Brazil's President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva on Friday signed an executive order tightening civilian access to guns. It's a campaign promised by Lula. He has pledged to disarm an increasingly gun-toting country under his far-right predecessor Jair Bolsonaro. Lula also argued guns were responsible for political violence in last year's election. It is one thing for a citizen to have a gun at home for protection and assurance, he said at a press briefing on Friday, but we cannot allow there to be arsenals of weapons in people's hands. <coughs> Brazilian gun owners surged about eightfold under Bolsonaro's rule to nearly 800,000 registered owners. Gun culture proliferated with restrictions loosened on permits for hunters, marksmen or collectors. Lula's new decree states registered hunters will have access to fewer bullets and can now own six weapons, down from the previous 30. The 9mm handgun will no longer be accessible to civilians. New rules close a loophole that let many gun owners go out in public with loaded weapons if they claimed to be going to a gun club. The decree also lays groundwork for a buyback program starting this year for new gun owners in the previous administration. Lula also passed responsibility for civilian weapons control from the army to the federal police. The army was criticized for weak oversight and poor information sharing with law enforcement agencies.